you good night and good morning everyone who are living in different time zones so today i'm going to show you how to upgrade from nobara 39 to 40 and how to remove the nobara old version that's made nobara 39 away from your system and nothing but a new one uh, the best way is that you can wait for the official release but uh, for most people like me we cannot wait we don't want to wait we want to test something new of course we can go with Humblebeat, we can go with fedora but uh, because this nobara thing this zorin os thing this pop os thing come up with all the repository with all everything in their kernel without having to make us having a headache to hunt for all this okay so the first thing you have to do in order to update your system is to run the first command sudo dnf upgrade refresh so when you run this command in terminal it will run through and tell you that the system uh, nobara 40 fedora 40 is now available so it is ready for you to download and after that command you will need to run this or the best way is to add one one y I mean yes run this command in terminal and then it will pop up like one thousand or three thousand files or something and ask if you want to upgrade your system or update your system just press y and then let everything do the magic it will do the installation for you update all the system for you after everything is done you have to do this sudo dnf system upgrade reboot it will reboot the system however after rebooting at lock screen at boot screen you will have to wait for a couple of minutes depending on your hard disk i'm using origin pc with m2 samsung pro 990 whatever and it is not that long, around five minutes or something to install all the system. So it is like installing a new operating system, but doesn't affect, doesn't kill, doesn't destroy your home directory, your file and everything. Everything is intact. And then after all the installation, it will reboot again. You will see Nobara 39 and then Nobara 40 on top. And then you lock it into there. It might take some time, it's a little bit of hiccup. The system is updating, it changed certain things, isn't there? Especially, I this one I cannot click and make it work anymore, but the window key is still working. So, in order to make that one work, I cannot click like that before. I noticed this is what I noticed. I have to press window key to go to this kind of dashboard, and then I click this will come up. Anyway, I use Numix Circle. I use this based on a recommendation and a good tutorial from, uh, yeah, Matt's great too. He, I think he, he, he provide a lot of good results for, uh, a Linux user who love gaming, who love, uh, ADE, who love GNOME. I also love GNOME. Yeah, he, he made a lot of video. Please subscribe to him and thank you for your video as well. Sharing was giving credit too. So, after all of that, and you feel like, hey, I, I already changed my new I just saw a lot of things here and there. I don't want to keep the old stuff. So, if you do not want to keep your old Nobara, I recommend you to run this command first to make sure that you keep only files. So, now before I move on, let me show you the system. This is my clean system after destroying all the old version, not old kernel, but old version. Don't blame me. Yeah, I'm a risk taker guy. I don't care. I have only one kernel, this, but there are 40, and it's with kernel 6.8.12, and it's running fine on GNOME with all else of. Yeah extension enable right indicator item it's not support anyway keep it over so you have to do this sudo nano whatever first uh, let me become 
assign to the user the password wrongly. I'm sorry because it's at night and my keyboard is way too bright. So this is what I kept in the DNF on configuration. I keep only three a kernel and the rest is normal. I use nano if you can use you can also use JDID. If you have JDID, it's easier. You can use JDID, but I prefer Nano. After that, you want to leave Nano. You need to press Control O to save the file. Control Enter to confirm. Control X to leave. And finally, you have to do this to do DNA remove. Don't worry when you run that command. Uh, don't you don't have to care about anything. Just when it asks you, do you want to remove all of these? Press Y enter. It will destroy all the old words and the old kernel and everything. And it keep only Nobara 40 just like mine. Nobara 40, I'm running on two monitors. No, not two monitors, my, my laptop origin PC. The AMD Ryzen 39 x which is the first one and the last one also from Origin PC and no more AMD update with this kind of high end technology. But the old, very old graphic card. I'm supposed to have 4090 right now. Because I want to see if it is use Blender mainly and, and hidden light. Yeah. So this is my system. And hope you all love picking your Nobara as well. And happy Linux things. Thank you.